Hit Craddock in the morning. The Showbiz Top 5. Hey, this is Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5 for Monday. It's May the 24th. I'm going to say May the 24th. How's that? Paula Abdul has landed a gig with CBS. She is going to be the executive producer, the creative director, the choreographer, the coach, even the head judge on this new show called Got to Dance. It's another show we're stealing from British television. So I'm guessing this pretty much rules out any chance of her working with Simon Cowell on The X Factor when that finally goes to air with Fox, unless this show tanks. But it seems like it'd be a pretty good one. They cover everything, all ages and every style of dance you can think of. So it should be pretty interesting when that finally hits CBS. Glee stars Mark Salig and also Naya Rivera are reportedly dating in real life. He plays Puck on the show. She plays Santana. Of course, his reps are denying it, saying that he's much too busy with work to have a serious relationship. Brittany Murphy's widowed husband, Simon Monjack, was found dead late last night by his mother-in-law. It's so sad. Um, Sharon, who was Brittany's mother, found not only her daughter dead, but then her son-in-law dead. Two dead people to find in one lifetime. That's just way over the top. But she called paramedics. They rushed to the home and tried CPR, but that did not work. They do believe Simon died of a cardiac arrest, natural causes, but they will, there will be an autopsy. They did say there were a number of prescription drugs in the home, all legally prescribed. Simon Monjack was 40 years old. Came as no big surprise to anyone when the Donald himself announced that uh, Brett Michaels was going to be the winner of Celebrity Apprentice last night during the live finale. Even Holly Robinson's Pete own son woke up yesterday morning and told his mom he was sort of pulling for Brett. And who can really blame the kid? Brett came this close to dying from a brain hemorrhage, and so it was really miraculous that he was able to be there last night. But I guess because, you know, Holly really probably deserved to win. Donald not only awarded Brett Michaels the $250,000 for his charity, the American Diabetes Association, but also $250,000 goes to Holly's charity, which um, helps parents whose children deal with autism. And finally, Lindsay Lohan, she is due in court this morning, and by the time you see this, this is probably already old news, but last night she did film a video, her response to what's going on around her, and you can watch that on RadarOnline.com. Basically, she says she hasn't done anything to deserve going to jail or to rehab. She's followed everything she's supposed to do and takes full responsibility for all her actions. We'll see if the judge feels the same way today. And that's your Showbiz Top 5. Check out more blogs, pics, videos, and celebrity gossip. All at KidLive.com. KidLive.com.